Welcome to Lazy Projects 101. The day I am recording this is an auspicious day. This is the first anniversary of this project, Sleepy Stare Alert. So me and my friend Anthony S. John were discussing on a video call when we should do something. There is a pandemic out there. We should do something for the world. The world needs its heroes, man. But he was not interested much. But I kept pitching him more and more ideas. So I kept pitching him. But he didn't like. He was kind of sleeping in between the video call. And I was like, man, concentrate, don't sleep. Yes, exactly. That was a billion dollar idea. We both were really happy that we got a problem statement. We had to stop people from sleeping. Even though when they are working on a laptop or a mobile phone or anything which has a camera through which I can spy them. Just kidding. It happens in the back end, you won't know. But yeah, I know a coffee can help someone not sleep. But there is a better idea. Buy me a coffee through the link in description and you can not sleep for the lifetime. We have the first problem which is sleeping but then the other problem is you keep staring at the screen. There are moments when you can't take your eyes off. FPS games, you watch interesting videos in both all the cases, you keep staring at your screen. So a study says that if you keep staring at your screen for more than 7 to 12 seconds, it's not healthy for your eyes. So now we have our problem statements clear which is we have to stop people from sleeping, we have to prevent them from staring for long periods of time. While doing our research we stumbled upon a project which was a blink counter. The project basically does is it counts how many times you blink. While researching for long hours we copy pasted their code. Just kidding we have given them credits everything is in the description. So. I hope some of you would have understood the solution right now. If the blink counter doesn't go up for a certain amount of seconds, it means either the person is sleeping or the person is staring at the screen, right? So yeah, we got the solution. Now we had to work on the code. So what the code does is, it keeps counting your blinks. And if the blink counter doesn't count for 9 seconds, it means either you are sleeping or you are staring and it will alert you with this sweet sound of yeah i have heard it it's too good you know where i got this inspiration from yeah suresh gopi movies in suresh gopi movies we all know we don't sleep because there are beeps with all the technical abilities i used the time library in python and counted the time between the last count and the coming count and in case the difference goes above 9 seconds, we alert the user. Here you can define your source, your laptop camera, your phone camera. Then once the code is executed, if the timer goes above 9 seconds, yes. Now let's look at a demo. I will show you a cool thing how to use your mobile as a source. That's really good because you can get a better quality image out of it. You can use it while you are using phone and all. It's a very easy step. You have to install the IP webcam from the Google Play Store and follow these steps. You have to go and start a server. Once you start the server, you can see a URL. You have to copy paste the URL and come to the line in the code where I have given the source as zero. The zero means the current device which is the laptop. We have to change the source to our mobile. Once you do that, bam, you got your smartphone camera, be it back or front, whichever you can choose as your camera for this project. That's also cool, right? So if you need a video where I review the code, I explain to you how each thing works so that you can get an introduction to OpenCV also through that comment below. So I am concluding. This is a lazy ass project. Anthony left after giving me the idea. Yeah, I was alone. 
just kidding antony is an android developer right now he does cool things i will give his profile links below you can go check him out why did i do this video we know that it's for views then comes inspiration yep one year ago i was curious to know how things works i wanted to learn ml computer vision and all i thought that i should be astrologer for ml to predict things but that's not how it works but yeah i was curious but i didn't know anything but after doing this project i came to know about lot of things even though the 90% of the project was not by me i had to understand how it works so that i can integrate my concept with the existing code the project helped me get a learning curve understand open cv how the image capturing works how the eyes are detected and most of the aspects of the project so i learned a lot even though the project was so the message is that even if you don't have a great idea even if you don't know anything at all just start start with a crazy idea go do google search do infinite google search you will reach a solution even doing an existing project is fine but you should not be stuck with existing projects keep on doing them you can start with an existing project for sure it will give you a motivation to understand how things works how to code because trying out things is very different from just watching a video on python or anything so what's important is you start and fail it's totally fine when you do projects like this even if you use one percentage of someone else's code make sure you give them credit in github you can give them credit in the readme files that was the video i am really happy doing this video it's been one year i have learned a lot and uh, now i really like open cv i do more fun stuffs with open cv machine learning and all i will be back with such videos i know you are blinking i can see you yeah i see you haven't liked so like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't i will be back with more such lazy projects 101 so bye thanks for watching